I know I cannot be the only female struggling to date in 2023. Like, all of the 2000s, I feel like. But in general, like, right now, I feel like it is the worst. Like, I have no desire to want to talk to you guys or deal with you guys on any level because... I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. Jeff You're all very disappointing. I don't know... If you weren't loved properly, you weren't loved enough, whatever the case may be. But when it comes down to it, you're just downright disrespectful. And you don't know how to treat women. You choose yourselves over everything in every circumstance. Even when you see that we've gone out of our way for you and done certain things for you, you continue to choose you, which is good. And you should choose you to a degree. But uh, if you're not giving as much as you're taking then it's a fucking problem focus on yourself don't tell nobody your plans don't open up for nobody i don't give a fuck if this is your day one don't tell him shit it's a problem and we don't need you any longer to make babies. We don't need you to provide anymore, which even though you should, but you don't, we don't need you to do that because we are very capable of doing that on our own. And you can see that statistically because we do. <laughs> okay. And we have been for many years and it, it's just saddening to see that, we're struggling out here. We're we're struggling. And quite honestly, we don't need you for anything. We can take care of ourselves in every aspect. And then when I say every, I mean every. There are things in place for everything. So unfortunately for you guys, like you need to be loving, you need to be caring, you need to be more genuine than you've ever been before because we don't actually need you for not one thing, not one thing. So it's important that you're giving us that physical connection that we need because if you're not doing that, we can find other ways to get everything else accomplished. So. <laughs> God help us. I don't know what's going to happen, but this has been one hell of a year. One hell of a year. And I am over it. And I'm really ready just to have a full on grown women circle where we can just enjoy our company of each other, travel, go away, do things, and just what do what we need to do. Because y'all ain't it. To all the girlies that's out here dating, I have a question. Like, I, I'm right now in a space to where I am not enjoying liking someone. Like, typically, I'm the type of girl that is friends with a guy for a good amount of time and then I'm seeing characteristics and through time and I'm like oh, okay I think I want that in my future or like I've seen this person been there for me I like how this person communicates like I like how we resolve issues like maybe this can become something right but to like somebody for off rip is like making me OD anxious. Like I feel like I'm questioning everything. I'm questioning myself. I'm questioning them. I'm questioning motives. I'm wondering what are the red flags are going to be. I'm wondering how is this going to end? How is this person going to be there for me in the downtimes? How am I going to support them in their downtimes? Like I think that my mind is going a thousand miles per hour because typically. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't going to say the B word. I'm going to say unstable creatures it's my new word for y'all i think logically than with my emotions and like right now like my emotions are heightened to the umpteenth power because this person is absolutely amazing they treat me like a freaking princess like there's nothing more i could ask for they don't even make me question them but it's just the anxiousness of me trying to protect myself um that is making me just kind of like overdo it and I just feel like it's not becoming 
of me I don't like the headspace that I'm in um because I do want to enjoy the ride because I know it is a marathon and not a sprint but like it's over for you thoughts it's over it, it, it ain't that time it's over for y'all the other thoughts made it bad for you hi you guys I'm going on a date and I just want to show you guys what I was wearing So I think this guy that I'm going on a date, he, I think he's going to ask me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> this is like our sixth date. And I told him very specifically, I was like, just so you know, I'm still dating until you formally ask me to be your girlfriend. I, I told him that on our last date, which was our fifth date. And he was like, oh, okay. He was like, okay, now I have to plan something. So he very specifically made reservations and told me what to wear. <laughs> he was like, make sure you wear a dress. <laughs> So this is what I'm wearing. Yeah, so I'll update you guys later and tell you if he asked me to be his girlfriend or not. And just so you know, that's the way it's supposed to go. Until he tells you or asks you, hey, I would like for you to be my girlfriend, don't assume that you're that man's girlfriend. Bye. For every man, there's a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> Now this right here is nuts. So she told the guy, hey look, just so you know, I'm gonna be fucking and sucking other dudes until you make me your girlfriend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bitch, you just give me a reason why I shouldn't make you my girlfriend. This is nuts. And the fact that he took her on six dates, it's like, for what? After she said some shit like, oh my. God, hey fellas, y'all gotta stop this sucker shit. I get it, I get it. You know, she thick, you wanna smash, you wanna keep smashing her. But listen, it's a way to go about it, man. It's a way to go about it. Be a player about it, bro. Don't let these chicks give you ultimatums. Tell her, cool, you do what you do. Keep dating those guys. But don't wife up a chick like that, man. That's just the bottom line. It is what it is, man. But fellas, this is not how you handle this, man. And don't be taking random chicks on six dates, man. Fool what somebody is smashing up for free without even taking her on one date sad situation man plus we gotta do better out here man this is crazy why didn't you say anything to me when him and i first started talking i was sort of in disbelief i was mad but what was i gonna do about it just not let you guys be together That's... i mean you never even told me about anything that you were feeling you kind of left it as it was i mean I mean, we were together for what, three years? Nobody really meant as much to me as you did. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Um, apparently I'm hearing that my boy right here, hey Caps, begged you to fuck. He did. Okay, okay, okay. What is your story behind that? Like, what is the process? What is the story? We was drunk. Okay. After the stream, he got horny, and he was like, please, 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 can we fuck? And I was like, okay. So, so, that's so it. wait. Like, so wait. My nigga. <laughs> not what it is. What? I already hit you. It's not gonna happen again. You're probably, like, the only person I've ever fucked that I regret. Oh. You think you can do this to me? right here is crazy bro and this is why if you a dude out here and you taking these nasty ass chicks on three and four on five dates just to smash it's like what is you doing this chick is saying she give it up because the dude bagged her he bagged fellas is that easy to smash a lot of these broads out here bro that's why as a man don't waste your time trying to you got to treat a bird like a bird that's what they understand these chicks are so easy that if you ask them more than once i guess you can smash this is crazy but what's even more crazy about it now she's trying to downplay homie after he smashed look fellas a win is a win once you crack 
you won. The ball is in your court regardless of what she's saying. She could try to don't play you. She could try to diss you. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of what, you got the win. You got the win, bro. And that's all that matters. Once a dude crack, now the ball is in his court. And like a lot of times, man, like after like some of these chicks do some whole shit and they feel stupid, they try to put a dude down. That's just part of the game. But nevertheless, fellas, a win is a win. If you crack, you did what you're supposed to do but it just goes to show fellas there's no point of taking these because what's so crazy about this shit is this she will let that dude smash her right there and then mad easy and then she will find a sucker and let him take her on dates to smash and so i'll be telling you all dudes man to smash these chicks, man stop taking these chicks and these expensive dates and all that all you're doing is wasting your money the way these chicks playing these days if you link up with these chicks one time you should be able to crack trust me because it's pretty rare these days that you will meet a chick who never had a one night stand so keep that in mind fellas if you haven't yet go get you some of that merch you all already know don't feed the birds that's what it is we don't feed the birds over here so if you rock with your boy go get you some of that good merch